All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Today I want to share a story about Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him. He was not only a prophet but also a judge and a king. Wise and just was his people. Oh, that sounds interesting. What happened? Once upon a time, while Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him, was worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his private place, suddenly two people appeared. They had climbed over the wall and entered his worship area, and they were in disagreement. Really? They climbed the wall? That must have surprised him. Yes, Dawood, peace be upon him, was indeed surprised to see them. But as a just ruler, he didn't get angry and he didn't kick them out. Instead, he listened patiently. One of the men said, This is my brother. He has 99 sheep and I have only one. Yet he wants to take my sheep as well. So did Dawood, peace be upon him, judge immediately? He did. He saw the situation and thought it was obvious who was wrong. So he quickly judged that the one with 99 sheep should give back the sheep to his brother. But was that the right judgment? Well, here is the lesson. These two men were actually angels sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to test Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him. They disappeared after he made his judgment and Dawood realized that it was test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He should have listened to the other one first before judging. Maybe the man with the 99 sheep is wronged and this one sheep belongs to him. So he shouldn't have judged before listening to both people. Oh, what, what did he do then? He immediately asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and made sujood asking Allah's mercy. This story teaches us and teaches Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him, that we should not judge between people until we hear both sides. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَن تُؤَدُّوا الْأَمَانَاتِ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهَا وَإِذَا حَكَمْتُمْ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ أَن تَحْكُمُوا بِالْعَدْلِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ نِعِمَّا يَعِظُكُمْ بِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا Indeed, Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due and when you judge between people to judge with just Excellent is that which Allah instructs you. Indeed, Allah is ever hearing and seeing. So if someone came to us complaining, we should hear from the other person before judging. Exactly. People often present only what makes them look good, hiding any mistake they might have done. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us again in a different verse. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا أن تصيبوا قوما بجهالة فتصبحوا على ما فعلتم نادمين All oh, you who have believed if there is comes to you a disobedient one with information investigate lest you harm a people out of ignorance and become over what you have done regretful that makes sense. Do you have another story like this? Yes, another example. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent Ali, may Allah be pleased with him as a judge to Yemen. Ali was young and worried. What did Prophet Muhammad tell him? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advised Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, saying, if two people come to you with a dispute, don't judge for the first one until you've heard from the other one. This advice taught Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, to listen to both sides. Ali radiallahu an later said he never doubted in his judgment because he followed this advice. That's amazing. And did Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him say anything about different types of judges? Yes, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said judges are three types. Two are in hell 
and one is in paradise. The first is a judge who knows the truth and judges according to it. He will be in paradise. The second is a judge who knows the truth but judges unjustly. He will be in hell. The third is a judge who doesn't know the truth, judges ignorantly and will be also in hell. And also this hadith applies to the lawyers, one in heaven and two in hell. So, so if, if someone, someone can, can judge, judge fairly, fairly, they shouldn't should judge, judge at all. Exactly. Judging without fairness leads to injustice, which can lead someone to hell. A judge must be fair and not influenced by family, wealth, or personal interests. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in the Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, kunu qawwameen lillahi shuhada'a bilqis. ولو على أنفسكم أو الوالدين والأقربين. That's wise advice. Is there anything else about listening carefully? Yes, Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم warned about the gossip and those who spread discord. He peace be upon him said, Don't let anyone bring me news of anyone else, for I like to meet you with a clear heart. This teaches us that gossip can mislead the judge and affect their decision. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us not to let hatred or bias lead us away from justice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا اِعْدِلُوا هُوَ أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَىٰ So a judge or leader should avoid listening to gossip. Precisely, gossip can distort the truth. A judge must avoid relying on rumors and must strive to be fair and just in every judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lead us always to the truth and guide us to be fair and just. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.